Secret little storage lots. Hey, we got production issues. Hey, we got chip issues. <sighs> right. What is up, GTC family? We are uh, out and about on a Friday, and check this out. Um, <clears throat> just yesterday, I was passing by uh, some buildings that I don't normally uh, pass by, and I took a little bit of a detour just because traffic was backing up on the main, main road, and um, went behind those buildings. And behind those buildings, there's some fences, and these buildings are, are not being used. And these fences are, you'll see in a second here, they've got like, you know, ivy or something growing on them where you can only see in uh, at the entrance points. So I kind of slowed up because some cars caught my eye and I was blown away at how many vehicles are being stored in this location. Bottom line is, Everything I'm seeing, reading, hearing right now is that car manufacturers are overloaded with inventory. There's more used cars on the market than ever before. But people, and I mean dealerships, dealers, are being stupid with their pricing still, but something's gonna give here because this kind of inventory is ridiculous. All right, so a couple of lights up, you've got a main road and I mean main artery here because it's loaded with shopping and retail and um, a number of car dealerships but there's no dealerships within say a couple of blocks of this so this is at least a few blocks away so here we are I'm gonna take a right here check this out so this building right here totally um, not being used all right you can see with the fencing. All right, so I'm taking this road here. I'm cruising along. And lo and behold, I start to see what is going on with these cars. What is going on? Why are there so many? Dude, look, look at them. Volvos, Hyundais, brand new. Those haven't even been processed. We're gonna, look at this, so this this fencing, I mean, it's not like they're, you know, under lock and key or anything like that, but actually those are over there. Look at these these sprinter vans. Um, look at the inventory. I, oh my gosh. Just kind of tucked away here. Here's these, look at these Hyundai Ionics, Ionic 5s. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull over here. Definitely storage of new vehicles. Look at these cars. These are all Volvos right here. Holy smokes, man. Out in this lot, I think I'm easily looking at two or 300 cars, easily, easily. Cause they go way back, way back. couple of sprinter vans over here holy mackerel look at all of these Hyundai's oh Mazda Ford that one is not new what do we have going on here but those are all new those Genesis um, those are all new oh my gosh the Hyundai's go way back just back here behind this abandoned building oh my goodness secret little storage lots hey we got production issues hey we got chip issues hey we can't make cars Mazdas more Volvos than I've ever seen in my life 
Honestly, I didn't know they even made this many Volvos. What is going on? Here we've got Audis. There's a Chevy. These are all brands, man. Absolute ton of Hyundais here. Absolute ton of them. Yeah, chip shortages. <sighs> right. You want an Alfa Romeo? You want some Alfa Romeos? Mercedes? We got Acuras. Look at all these Acuras. Acura, Acura, Acura. You want a Mercedes? You got a Mercedes. I mean, these are all brand new, guys. Just being stored back here in a abandoned parking lot. Several hundred cars, easy, and, and I may be underestimating it. Um, not sure you could catch quite the scope of it. Looked like there were some folks walking around the lot there. I'm not sure whether they were dealership folks or anything like that, but um, no security, you know, no security guys out there. A couple of guys washing some cars, but it's like, anyway, not surprised. I'm seeing this kind of stuff uh, online. Maybe you're seeing it in your area. You know, I've heard fields of um, cars, you know, parking lots, parking structures filled with cars. It's crazy, but um, bottom line is, unless you have a very specific car that you're after or have custom ordered or that you are, that is in very high demand, maybe you've got a C8 you're looking at or I don't know, some Mopar you're looking at, um, I would wait. Do not buy a car right now. Just, just don't do it. Uh, make these dealerships have to start increasing incentives, lowering prices, and doing something because they are gonna be in trouble, big trouble. If you've looked at the uh, recent earnings reports uh, by some of these domestic manufacturers, you can see uh, Stellantis, Jeep, Ram, absolutely packed with inventory, and they're gonna have to do something about it. So anyways, just a quick video to uh, kind of share a little, uh, a little information about what I saw here and let us know in the comments if you're seeing anything similar in your area. Jeez, these California roads are way bumpy. All right, until next time, guys. Jared, GTC, take care.